Seven News learning new details today about that tragic shooting incident in Thornton. Police now say that Kevin Bristol killed his four-year-old son, then turned the gun on himself. Seven News reporter Lance Hernandez talking with family and friends today. And Lance, the outcome of that investigation comes as a complete shock to them. It certainly does, Mike. You can tell how much that young father and son touch people's lives when you see this growing memorial in front of the house. Everyone I've talked with for the last three days says, Kevin Bristol loved his son Michael. And they can't believe what police are saying today that Kevin killed him. Uh, both parties were shot with a uh, 22 caliber rifle. Police say Kevin Bristol shot his son, then turned the gun on himself. His wife heard the gunfire, got out of bed, and found both father and son in a back room. Still in a state of shock. Um, Close friends say it's hard to believe. We, our jaws just dropped and we all just separated in our household and didn't talk for a minute because we both just thought, no way, this could not happen. Shannon Donovan says Kevin loved his son. She can't fathom him hurting the boy, but police say the couple was having relationship issues. 7 News has learned that they were heading toward a divorce and that Kevin told a friend he had some work to do to try to get custody of his son. What could drive someone to this, I don't know, but it's, it's shocking and, and it's sad. I just saw him Friday and he seemed fine and in good, good spirits and happy-go-lucky Kevin. And, and the next day, here we are without him and Michael. So it's I spoke briefly with Kevin's sister off camera. She says Kevin was the most loving father I've ever met. We don't know the circumstances of what happened, but anyone who knows him knows that Michael was his world. She said the family is devastated and would like privacy. Now, police tell me this case is still under investigation. They say they still have some evidence that needs to be analyzed and will turn their findings over to the district attorney afterwards to find out whether he agrees with them. Live in Thornton, Lance Hernandez, 7 News. One of the folks you talked to said it best. Shocking and sad. Thank you, Lance.